Oh, good afternoon. So I'm taking advantage of the uh, periodic breaks in the rain this week to get some more of this English Bay hunting done. Uh, there's a pretty big cut down there from the latest floods. That wasn't there before, so that'll be interesting. Uh, I've just got a couple of hours uh, on my parking today and probably before the rain starts again, so let's get scooping. The typical deep 90s, which is almost always iron, but let's see. Actually, maybe I'll just put iron on and see. I will unfortunately not be going near the water today because I forgot my boots. I'm only wearing Crocs. Now it's a 30. I think I might just have been behind it. There's too much stuff around this spot by the where they've put all the logs. Yep, that's a full tab. Man, it's nice and warm out here today. It's like 14 degrees Celsius. Straight down. Chasing a nail. Figures. Hey, finally something doesn't sound entirely like trash. A couple of things, maybe. OK. 
Okay. Oh, a sharp hook thing. Rusty nickel. And that was hard to find, because it was because it was really rusty. Really want to get out of this side of the beach. It's just full of nails and I really don't want to be digging constantly, even if I'm getting every non-iron signal. this? What is this? Not a ring, is it? Oh, wow. Is this a ring? Whatever, it's, it's caked in there. I'm looking at a nail or something to scrape this out. It is a ring, I think. It is extremely heavy. Definitely just copper, but it's like this thing weighs like 30 or 40 grams. That's a shame. Wish that was silver. Well, that's pretty cool though. That's an old heavy ring that uh, probably washed out. Sweet. I can't even imagine wearing that. That would make your fingers so tired. It's really, really corroded in there. Crazy. Cool. All right, well, we're digging up some old interesting stuff, that's for sure. The heavies are concentrated right here. Sweet. All right. Rusty. Another rusty nickel. So we're bringing up really hard to find.
nail. Yeah, the heavies have really concentrated in this spot. And there's a heavy ring, got a couple of rusty nickels, nails. Okay, hopefully be a little easier to find stuff now with those two targets gone. Oh, never mind, we're not done. There's something else here, maybe. A piece of wood. Rusty nickel. Okay. Three rusty nickels in this spot. Interesting. <sighs> All right. There's another signal. Still just in that like this one meter radius. the size of this hole. Deep loony. Awesome. Everything sounds like junk here. I'm trying to decide whether or not to turn on the camera half the time because it's starting to waste. quarter. Tent stake. Sounds pretty junky. 
gonna be cloud. Just some iron moving around. Oh, zipper pull. So many of these deep high tones. So hard to find today. No, oh, that's why. Tent stake. of a circuit board. Huh. Welcome to the wrap-up, partially. Um, I'm gonna come back, probably make this a multi-part video, because uh, this was a fairly short hunt with just a few finds, but uh, just had a couple hours. Uh, it's gonna start raining again any, any minute now. Got a few nickels, a quarter, loony, and this huge, huge copper ring. That is so heavy. Curious to clean that up. It's a shame that's not silver, but that was nice. There was just all these heavies were like in the same small spot uh, in that cut. So um, this will probably just end up in the middle of my main video. Well, we're back for uh, day two. This is actually almost a full week after I recorded that last vid uh, part of the video. Been uh, waiting for the rain to break so that I can come back out and not get soaked. And it's going to be dry for a few days, so gonna hit this beach really hard today see how far I can get and uh, yeah all right let's get scooping okay I normally steer clear of the log piles at least for this part because they're just there's so much trash here but this is an interesting signal and a little carabiner clip thing I see a motorcycle key on the surface. Or just a bike lock key. All right, we're just a few meters in, really. We've got a handful of pull tabs, a piece of foil, bottle cap, bicycle lock key, and a clip and what looks like a rimfire cartridge. So as you can see, I have not uh, not come very far yet. Moderately interesting high tone. Hmm. 
There it is, it's a little screw. Tiny screw. Another screw. Got a penny. Oh no. Oh yeah, American penny. Worn down American penny. Alright, this was a one, surprisingly. It's a really crusty dime. Almost rusted away completely. Jeez, that's screaming. What is that? American penny me or American dime? Oh, it's a car. Cool. Okay, well, next handful of targets. I'm not really counting two, four, six, eight, nine pull tabs. I uh, got a car, got a nut, got a plastic pearl bead. Uh, American penny and a Canadian dime worn down to almost nothing. Okay, I pulled something out of the hole, but I can't quite see it. Uh, oh, got a crusty penny. Okay, going after a kind of quiet high tone. Steak. Twenty four, twenty five. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, it's just the uh, edge of some glasses. Thought that was jewelry for a sec. Broken edge of glasses. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna, every line to and from the beach, I'll uh, stop and show what I've pulled. So this is just two lines, kind of stopped halfway um, when I was showing you before. So there's one line down, one line up, and we've got bottle caps, liquor caps, foil, tent stake, piece of some glasses, a couple of screws, a quarter and a penny, and a lot of pull tabs. Doesn't sound quite like a pull tab. Oh, what? Christmas light. And more tiny screws. These are just a bunch of the same tiny screws. <laughs> oh, found a tiny piece of bling chain. A jumpy 60-ish in the 50s here. Dime. Oh, 
24, 25. I thought I saw a little glint, but not sure. Oh. oh. It's just the little ring from something. Actually, looks like the surround of a camera lens or something for a phone. Looks exactly like that, actually. I thought that was a ring for a second. That would have been nice. Oh well. Yep, it's more. More tiny screws, they're just spread all the way, all the way down. I don't know what someone was disassembling here, but there's so far like a dozen tiny screws. It cut a dime in this little metal ring that I thought was a regular ring. That's unfortunate. Christmas light, um, ball of dental floss that was all wrapped around some logs, so I got rid of that. Save the birds. Um, Got a whole bunch of small screws and a magnet that's all stuck together right now. And, uh, you know, 20 pull tabs, couple bottle caps. Uh, did I mention the Christmas light? Anyways, that was uh, another line up and down. Hmm, that boat seems to be getting a little bit dangerously close to shore. Guess I'll check back in a second and see if it's beached. All right, so next two lines, about uh, half a dozen pull tabs, bottle caps, foil, a piece of a pen, nail, some retaining rings, a safety pin that I found open, some glass, and a dime. whole shredded can. Nice solid low tone. Ah, <gasps> oh, finally! Interesting, is that... can't be a rust on there, it looks like stainless or something. Yay! Got a ring! I think it's a spinner. Yeah, it's just gummed up. Nice! Got a stainless steel spinner ring. Really small one. Yeah, no marks on there. Nice stainless though. All right. Whew. All right, so I've done, let's see, maybe, maybe 500 square meters of beach. Does that make sense? 10 meters that way. Maybe, oh no, maybe 30 meters that way. Barely. Maybe two, 300 square meters of beach, so not a lot. Um, I'm just, there's so much trash, but I'm gonna keep going. This is great, the sun's coming out. Got a little bit of water in my boots from the waves, but otherwise, good to go. Sweet, I'm re-energized with a ring. Oh, quarter. Okay, well, next update is a whole pile of pull tabs, foil, bottle caps, uh, some wrappers, some twist ties, a quarter, and a spinner ring. Not bad. Hmm, high tone that doesn't sound like junk. things. Got a penny and a little hook. Hmm, cool.
Okay, next two lines. Probably a dozen pull tabs, equal number of pieces of foil, bottle caps, and a penny. All right, junkie low, bottle cap, probably. Oh, lobby pin. Bobby pin. Dang it, Bobby. Hmm. It's hard to find mid tone. Kind of keeps disappearing. There. Yeah, All right, got another uh, 22 looks like, 22 shell. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well I'm going to make one more line down to the water and rinse off my gear and then I'll be done for the day. It's uh, slow going, but I'm inching my way across the beach. I'm probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> ten meters in, maybe. Okay, well, I think we're gonna call it a day. I'm uh, getting pretty tired. Got uh, Another handful of pull tabs, a bottle cap, retaining ring, a 22 cartridge, and a syringe cap. Welcome to the wrap up. So I really didn't do a lot of that beach. Um, there was just so much trash. Like look at that, it's just so many pull tabs. So many bottle caps, got a Christmas light, got this huge bundle of dental floss. Um, that was from maybe, I want to say like 10, 15 meters by 20 or 30 meters of beach. So yeah, not, uh, not a huge area, all things considered, but, um, you know, still found some stuff. So that beach is not hunted out. Uh, most of this stuff was pretty deep. The, uh, low tone ring spinner, uh, was a little shallow, but that's nice. It looked like it'd been there for a little while. Uh, it's totally jammed up. So I'm going to have to, uh, try and clean that out when I get home. Got a couple quarters, got some dimes, some pennies, uh, 22 rimfire, and a magnet. But the, uh, I had another bullet shell um, as well, but it's buried in the trash, so I'll probably find it at my next trash sort. And I'll uh, include the stuff that I found on the previous day. I'm going to bundle those two, uh, two, two shooting days together. Uh, I also found a ring on that day as well. That one was super deep and had been in there for a while. It was an enormous... Uh, it's a shame because it was really cool once i cleaned it up though it was all corroded anyways um this continues my quest to dig uh, methodically clear out every possible signal from english bay beach and uh, i'm getting there 
uh, let me know in the comments if you're getting bored of this i might take a break and go to some tot lots it's just it's been so rainy for weeks that uh, really the beach is the only place that i don't just get covered in mud and soaking wet even if it hasn't been raining for a little while sorry for the traffic noise uh, anyways uh, please like and subscribe and until next time this is scoopy joe out